Hello there, I'm Michael Thomas, instructor at the Academy of Historical Fencing, and I'd like to tell you about a new project that I've been working on for the last, well, the last few months really, uh, and that's a series of new books uh, about Maya's 1570 text. Now these books are a little different to what's been released before. Um, they're a combination of a full translation by myself, uh, along with um, significant editing, um, interpretation by myself, uh, which is all incorporated as separate italicized sections so that you don't get confused between my thoughts and the translation of the text. Um, here's the first page, so I don't give too much away. Um, there are a number of other ways of studying uh, Maya's texts at the moment, um, but these do tend to fit into either just straightforward literal, literal, literal translations um, or study books or guidebooks to try and get you started. So I'm going for something straight down the middle. So you can have the original text um, in easy to follow modern English, um, hopefully with any of the ambiguities removed, um, and also a text that has lots and lots of artwork, far more artwork than was in the original. Um, now there's some great woodcut material in the 1570 text, um, but we can't make use of it to distribute, uh, and also there's an awful lot that isn't there. So I've decided to do something a little different, and I've enlisted the rest of the HF to help me with the images, so we can produce something um, quite comprehensive. Now, the first of these books, as I said, is uh, Meyer's text on the rapier. Now. Anybody that's read Meyer's material before will know that he teaches an entire corpus of weapons. So if you want to learn how to use the rapier, you need to read the rest of the book as well. So the longsword and the dussac sections all have useful information, and Maya frequently pops up and tells you, I've already covered this, uh, go back and look at it, or words to that effect. Um, so what I've done is I've taken the sections um, from the rest of the text that I think are relevant. So footwork sections from Dussac, for example, um, or the divisions of the sword from the longsword section, and where appropriate, they've been moved into the text with notes, so you know they've been moved, um, to make it a little easier to follow. Now I will be producing one book for each of the weapons. Um, these books will be completely free, so they will be colour PDFs that anybody can download, not just people in our own uh, fencing club, the HF. Um, and when they're all finally completed, um, I would like to then release them as paperbacks, full colour paperbacks, in case you want to have them, you know, to bring class or to have them on the shelf. Now, there's another thing about this tech that's quite interesting, and that's the way that other members of the HF have been involved. So I've roped in anybody that's interested to provide artwork. Now, this artwork is a little different to what you might be thinking. I've just told them I want a particular guard, I want them to stand in it, in a particular direction, take the photo, and then just send them to me. So I've got a whole list of photos from all kinds of different people, from different angles. Uh, most of them are right, occasionally they are a little different, or quite different to what I was asking for. But I've taken the best, handed them over to my brother, who works with um, imagery and artwork all the time, and he's removed the backgrounds. Um, converted them into what looks like um, colour artwork and then reinserted them into the book. So if I bring the text back up and I'll just move a few pages in and you can see the first of the images. Now this particular one is interesting because if you look at the original text by Maya and look at the woodcuts um, there is hidden in the corner this well, image really of three people three statues actually on sort of little plinths um, and they're used to show you the, um, the divisions and lines um, that, that are explained more fully in the text. Now if you didn't know they were there you might not, might not even notice there um, as with all of Myers woodcuts there's tons of information buried in the background so I've taken them um, combined them together um, and then put them into the text so it's much easier to follow at least I hope it's easier to follow uh, I'll give you an example of how we did this. Uh, if we look at the actual original material, you can see here's one of the photos that was submitted. 
So you can see one of our fences bravely standing on a box with the stick. We went from that to removing the background, making it more look like a sort of coloured sketch, um, and then incorporated that into the text. And I'll just skip through briefly because I don't want to give too much away, but you can see I've got all kinds of fences throughout the text. Um, I didn't want to use models, I didn't want to have sort of um, sketches of sort of the perfect men and women to go in the text. Um, I wanted people that are in our club. Uh, actual fences, so the, the kind of people that will actually read the text. So you're going through, they look like you. Now, this book, uh, well the first version, um, will be available quite soon, so check out our YouTube channel, uh, or check out our page on Facebook for more information, and if you're in the Academy of Historical Fencing and you want to be involved, um, please contact me, um, and I'll make sure that you're included in the project. So just to recap, this is the first of many. Um, so Myers Rapier will be the first text. It will be a full color PDF. It will be free um, and available to anybody in the HEMA community to download, to print off, um, to use as you will. And that's it. Thank you for listening.